How's it going, everybody? My name is Bo, and I'm a home theater enthusiast. And yes, you've seen the title of the video. I have purchased a new projector after seven years and one month of having my current projector. And I will show that and talk about that in a few minutes. But before, I do want to show the completed new projector mount and doorway that I started. Uh, it's been like three weeks ago now for me. Um, but in my last video, I just kind of ran out of time and energy and, and ended it before the project was done. You can kind of see them behind me right now. But I'm going to grab the camera. I'll show the doors and the new projector mount. I have my Sony uh, sitting up there right now. So I'll do all that. And then I'll come back and we'll reveal the new projector. And then I'll get it in place, get it installed, get it aligned. And give you guys some initial thoughts and and that's gonna be it so let's get the camera let's show the door let's show the projector mount and then I'll be back after that all right I said I was gonna show the new projector mount and doors but I figured I'd do a refresher in case somebody's here for the first time just kind of do a panning shot of the theater so here's a look at the sides and I wanted to show these columns because you'll see in a second how it relates to the finished doors so let's let's have a look which you could already see them in the beginning of the video but there they are and what I did was I replicated the same pattern my custom diffusion sound diffusion pattern which I don't know if it actually does that but I think it looks pretty cool and I maybe should have painted the doors the color of the wall and it, it would have looked closer to the actual columns but I am very happy with how this turned out because when I started this project I had no idea what I was going to use for doors and it wasn't until like two weeks in that I that I realized why don't I just do the same design as the columns so yeah these ones these protrude whereas in the columns um you know they go in because they're flush with the front but yeah i'm, I'm very happy with this um turned out better than i could even imagine because we i really couldn't imagine what i was going to do until it hit me so um it's, it's pretty dark up here there there is a projector up there and I'll show that in a little bit uh, with some more light, but I wanted to show you guys the doors and they just open. They're on cabinet hinges and uh, yeah, it worked. It works real nice and uh, it feels really good to have actual doors instead of a curtain. I've had a curtain in this, uh, dividing these two rooms for about 17 years now. And uh, let me go turn on the light. I'll show you the projector mount. So coming into the PC room slash movie collection memorabilia room slash AV equipment rack. Um, but yeah, let's look at the projector shelf. Uh, there it is. Last time I was showing this in the previous video, which I'll put a link to that in the description, I was talking about putting this up and then I showed some some images of it but seeing it finally finished with the drop ceiling in place uh, I'm very happy going with the uh, color of the trim which it matches um, I ran that all the way down and to the uh, baseboard and then then I put some white cable sleeves over the cables but that is still the Sony projector um, in a minute, I will reveal the new projector, but this was a nice uh, test. There's plenty of room for this. It's going to be tighter with the new projector. Um, I'm hoping it should fit, and I'm hoping there's enough airflow, as you can see, where I painted and sealed um, above there, so no debris is going to be coming down. And uh, yeah, it looks. I'm very happy with how this looks, to be honest. Um, 
it kind of it really elevates just the look of this room and let me sh shut the doors here it really does elevate the the look of this room um, now having doors instead of a curtain with light bleeding through and it's just I'm I'm just really pleased with this and it's not to toot my own horn it's just I started this project and I wasn't sure it was even going to work I wasn't sure I was going to be able to have a shelf there without hitting my head um, I wasn't sure how I was going to brace the back side of it how I was going to keep it from warping and I just I had to solve a bunch of problems and come up with things as I went along and that's exactly what happened with the doors I just built some quick frames and then it just hit me one day at work what I was going to do so I'm very happy I'm, hopefully you guys uh, like it or appreciate it and it just it feels really good having having actual doors in this room because all the times I've uh, upgraded this room and then just having a, a cheap curtain um, as a door just really kind of brought down the overall quality of the room I would say so there's a look at the silhouette of the Sony so I guess that's it for that now I'm going to sit back down and we will reveal and show the new projector all right so you've seen the doors you've seen the projector mount and I think it looks really good um, you know you never know when you start a project you have it in your mind how it's going to look or what it's going to take and you never quite know until you get done um, if it turned out or what things changed and what things didn't so I'm very pleased with that but on to the main topic or the main point of this video I bought a new projector and I'm going to show that right now BAM there it is. I was a JVC guy back in the day. I've heard about JVC projectors since 2005, about how they used DLP and had really good black levels and all that. And never actually planned on owning one, but yeah, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and uh, size comparison with my old Sony. beast just wanted to show my model versus the actual it's a little bit taller but uh, which is good because it was a snug fit all right JVC Side by side with the Sony. It's quite a bit bigger. <laughs> wow. Thing's huge. And it's 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 sexy, I ain't gonna lie. It looks good. I thought this Sony was a, like a big impressive projector, but yeah, this is on another level. And it was on another level getting this thing up into the projector mount shelf that I made. I needed the help of a buddy and we went in from the front. Um, it wasn't too bad. Uh, there's a look at the back side with the white cable sleeves and yeah, it fills up that, uh, that opening pretty nice. I also used some of the extra cable sleeves for uh, some cable management and I order, ordered some more because I really liked how that looked. So. Here's the coming from the PC room 
looking out into the theater room and walking out it's it's a nice transition now i'm very happy again with the uh with the doors um, and here's a look with uh the light on in the back room so you can kind of see the silhouette better and uh yeah it fills that opening unlike the sony that i had which uh, was pretty small in there but uh yeah it's it's a really amazing projector powering it on um i ain't gonna show any any footage of dune because of warner brothers but there is one downside and that is if the lamp is on high the fan noise is really loud which i'm going to do a quick demonstration but it's about twice as loud as my hvac system and about three to four times as loud as my sony was so i'm gonna play a clip of that right now so you can kind of get an idea of what it sounds like But on the bright side, even on the low setting, which is what this is, the projector still looks incredible and the fan noise is uh, about even or a little bit quieter than my old Sony was. So it's not all bad. Uh, I might do a hush box attempt to make one, I should say, in the future. Um, but anyway, that's it for this demo. I'm going to sit back on the couch, wrap up with my final thoughts, and we'll see you in a second. All right. So... You've seen the projector, you've seen it in place, a little bit of the image, which it's, you know, really hard to show, but I uh, just want to give my final thoughts, kind of wrap up this video. So again, seven years and a month uh, running that Sony, the 40ES 1080p model, um, going to the JVC. Yeah, the, uh, the hype is real. Uh, out of the box i mean i did almost nothing other than uh the convergence uh the pixel shifting aligning the red and blue and i did a brightness contrast uh, sdr test uh, um what do you call it uh the calibration screens uh had to drop brightness and contrast negative down one each didn't really have to but i did um, image is amazing the colors are vibrant uh the image is bright way brighter than what i'm used to with the sony and i ran my lamp on high um this is with the the jvc i've settled on a low for the lamp setting so the fan was quieter as you could kind of hear in that clip i mean it literally is uh overpowering um half of the reason i wanted to move the projector is to get the noise floor in my room lowered so having the the lamp on high does uh, destroy that entirely because uh, the whole point of uh, lowering the noise floor in your room is to increase the dynamic range of the audio and anything in the soundtrack that's quieter than that I'm guessing 50 decibels it sounds like 40 50 decibels of that fan uh, I'm not gonna be able to hear so uh, but other than that the, the, the projector looks amazing even on the low lamp setting with HDR 4k SDR everything looks amazing the black levels um, some of the big advantages over the Sony is even without masking the image there's no gray overspray when I zoom into my scope screen the Sony it didn't matter what I did um, below and above my screen there was some kind of light uh, lighting up my my front wall and that's completely gone um, the motorized lens shift zoom and focus I tell you what was almost worth the price of the projector by itself what a game changer especially with the scope screen but uh, even even without like just adjusting the focus alone is just like and not having a ceiling mount that's another huge benefit if you have a ceiling mount and you have the option to add a shelf i would go with the shelf it's so much easier as long as you have your sh shelf fairly level and the screen level i had to raise the right side of the projector up like an eighth of an inch using the feet and then i i literally turned it once and the bottom was perfectly straight the sides are straight 
it is the installation process took me about a minute once i could uh the problem i was having it was shooting up on my ceiling and i couldn't figure out the menu um i know now there's there's a lens button on the remote and then if i hit enter a couple times it will get me to the shift uh so if it wasn't for that it was about a minute process to get this thing aligned it was amazing um and just having the the motorized shifting and zooming um plus the lens memories i i got a true 16 by 9 for uh which is equivalent to a 92 inch screen i have a 90 uh, i have a 16 by 9 where i have the bottom and top um just where my uh velvet border is so it's zoomed in a bit so the top and bottom are at the top and bottom of the uh the velvet um, border around my screen and then i have a full 2.4 zoom and, and mask of a 2.35 and it's just and literally hit the button two clicks and it takes about 30 seconds for it to switch to the to the other lens memory i mean talk about uh quality of life improvement so i'm gonna definitely be way more inclined to switch between 16 by 9 movies or 1.85 to 1 scope movies like before i would be like oh i got it set to i have it zoomed down for 16 by 9 i'm gonna watch like three four 16 by 9 movies in a row watch like a season of like the last of us i didn't change my uh uh lens or my zoom or anything the entire time the last of us aired because i just didn't want to mess with it um so anyway enough about that uh so far the projector even uncalibrated it looks absolutely stunning um no regrets i just it'd be nice if uh if i can somehow configure some kind of venting system and have the projector blocked off with uh the lens shooting through a piece of glass and get that noise completely gone even on high and then i could get that extra i would say about 15 percent of the image uh pop with high versus low and if i can get that back without the noise that would be amazing so overall uh, i'm so glad i made this decision i love my new doors I, I love the new projector mount from this room and from the other room and i'm just i couldn't be happier um yeah i would say if you got the the means i saved up for about eight months um i had put about five to six hundred dollars away each month for the last eight months um to save up for the projector and it was well worth it so all right thanks for those that watched uh let me know are you a jc jvc uh fanboy are you still rocking a sony or do you have an epson let me know what you think um but as far as i'm concerned at this point uh, jvc is the best image i've ever seen on a on a projector um but i haven't had that much experience but uh again thanks for watching stay tuned i will do some update videos um i have a few other th little things i want to do but uh i'm gonna get out of here thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video